So our next step is to create an Angular project using Angular CLA. For that, wherever you want to create a project, go to that folder. So I'm going to create a new project inside the Angular folder. So from there, you can open a terminal. Then you can type ng new, then the project name. So my project name is angular slash prime ng slash app and also I am going to use the routing. So because of that, I am giving a flag called routing. So it will ask for some questions. You can answer that then it will install some packages. So I am going to use CSS here. And you can see app routing module dot ts file is created because I am giving the flag routing as true. So if you are not giving the routing, it will ask for the question like do we need to use a routing or not. So it will take some time to install all the packages. So the installation is done. The next thing is like you can go to the project we have created now. So it will be cd then angular prime ng hyphen app. So once we uh, go to this angular prime ng app, you can open if you want to open this code in any visual studio code, you can give the command code dot. Then it will open the visual studio code with our project which we have created now. Now you can see the project structure, the node module has been uh, added because it has all the packages uh, which were mentioned in the package.json. Our next step is we will run this application in the browser and see whether how it looks. Okay, So for that you can press control back tick on the windows machine and you can add the command ng serp for opening this application in the browser. Uh, under the port 4200. So if you want to automatically open in the browser, you can give the command hyphen hyphen open. Then whichever the default browser you have, it will open this application in that browser in the port 4200. So it is compiled successfully and it is opening on localhost 4200 and you can see some content there, right? So whatever the content displayed in the browser which is coming from the app.component.html so you can clear all the content and simply give the hello world. Once you press save button, the browser will refresh automatically and it will update the content. So we don't need to hard reload it. So project installation is done. So our next step is we have to install PrimeNG, Prime Icons and PrimeFlex. For that, you can again open the terminal and click on a new terminal. And you can give the command npm install. If you want to install multiple packages, you can separate it by space. PrimeNG, then Prime Icons is for adding the icons and prime flex is for adding the CSS class. So we don't have to write the CSS manually. By default, prime flex will provide a lots of useful CSS. We can use that instead of manually writing it. If you want to more detailed about the installation, you can go to the prime ng website, which will have the all the installation steps. So once this is done, you can see in the package.json which version of the PrimeFlex, Prime Icons and the PrimeNG is installed. Okay. So once that is done, what you can do is you have to add the node modules, okay, the CSS, the node modules uh, in the angular.json file. So go to the angular.json file and under the style section, you have to provide the node modules of the themes and the prime ng minified css and the prime flex see this needs to be done and then what you have to do in order to add the icons you go to the style.css uh, file and you can give the import statement 
of the prime icons. So if you want a detailed step about that one, go to the installation step and here you will be able to see the prime ng the same way prime flex and the prime icons. Okay. Once all this step is done, make sure you, you exit the application which is already running. So I am just exiting the application and then reserve. So ng serve hyphen hyphen open. Closing it. Now it is open. In order to check whether we have installed properly, you can give the class from the prime flex. So there is a class called flex, and I am telling we have to add justify content center so if we give this class we can check yeah it is center aligned right it's the flex justify content center flex property is applied to this diff so our prime ng prime flex and the prime uh, icons installation is complete